Welcome everybody to another MBW Champion playing Sudoku. Today, we're playing Sudoku. Uh, we're going to be playing High Rise Window Washer by Will Power. Will Power, get it? <laughs> um, again, if you guys haven't seen any of these, um, these videos before, every other uh, Wednesday, I do a Sudoku puzzle where it's a blind um, uh, run at trying to figure out this whole thing, and it's not unlike it's not like other Sudokus. It's basically with a different rule set. So um, I'll read the rules right now. So normal Sudoku rules apply. So a row has one uh, numbers one through nine. Cannot repeat R uh, column one through nine and a grid. So all these grids have one through nine. It can only um, have the digit just once, one through nine. Um, but there are some other other things. So it says neighboring digits on the green line have a difference of at least five. So since there's eight right here, that means um, this number has to be uh, have a difference between five so or five or more. So let's just say, can it be a seven? No, that, you know that's that's only a difference of one. It has to be a difference of five. So obviously, uh, one could be an example because that's a, a difference of seven. So it's definitely more than five. Um, nay, uh, wait. So digits do not repeat on the green line. Ooh, good to know. Does that? Okay, I'm jumping ahead. I'm jumping ahead. I was gonna say like. <laughs> I definitely need to make sure I remember that for the green line. Uh, neighboring digits on the orange line have a difference of at least four. So here's um, here's these ones. I think this is the only orange one on the grid. So uh, basically, it's a difference of four, um, but it doesn't say anything about digits cannot repeat. So that you know potentially there could be a one in here, for example. Um, digits may repeat on the orange oh, I could I, I could have just continue reading see this is what happens when you jump ahead um, a purple line contains a set of consecutive numbers in any order meaning if this was a one two three the one can go here two can go three and a three can go here but they have to be consecutive if you look at the whole line um, meaning this line for example has five digits has to be consecutive so there can't be a one and a nine, for example, because then you have to have nine nine digits in there. Uh, the cage shows its sum. There's only one cage, which is uh, seven right here. All right. Well, folks, um, those are the rules. Uh, but I leave the com um, in the comment section, or I guess description it's called. Um, in the description, there is a link to this puzzle. So if you guys want to try out the puzzle, try to figure it out, um, you know, go ahead and, uh, and click the link, play alongside, or pause the video, complete it, or uh, just watch me fail and, and just laugh hysterically at like the common things that I'm probably not going to see. Because that's what, that, that's, how, that's how I do, that's how I do. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, start playing, I think that's all the rules that I need, so alright, let's keep on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So again, consecutive. I'm gonna put. Um, actually, I was gonna put one, two, three, four, because I know it can't be zero because zero doesn't go right there. So this has to be a one, two, three, four um, quadruple right here. But the two sees this right here, so the only place the two can go is right here. So there we go. We already have our first digit, um, meaning this is gonna be the three and four pair right here. All right. Uh, let's move on. Uh, what do I want to go next? Uh, maybe here. I'm going to highlight um, this in red. Um, I like doing this when there's ever like a you know high numbers and low numbers. Uh, usually, like the the way that I, I approach the green line, for example, for the five digits is whenever you go five digits. Any number that you do, it's going to go a low number to a high number. For example, there can't be a 5 in the green, because if you add 5 to 5, it's 10, which is not between 1 and 9. If you minus 5 by 5, it's 0, which is not 1 by 9. So there can't be a 5 in there. So it goes from 1 to 4 
to six to nine, and it always rotates in that direction because of the five, um, you know, five digits is gonna swing it low number to high number. So, and so basically what I'm trying to say is this high number means that next to it is gonna be a low number, which I'm gonna do by the color blue, which means this is a high number and then this is a low number. I like to do this because um, this potentially could be something. I don't know. There's not that many of. There's only like one more left, so that may, maybe it's it doesn't need to be known. But basically, what we do know is that this has to be a one, two, three, four, right? Um, and then this has to be a high number, which is a six, seven, eight, nine. Now I'm gonna clean this up. I just wanted to kind of visualize while I'm saying that. So, anyways, there's a two in this grid, so obviously this. Uh, the twos cannot be here and then um, the eights is in this grid and it's also seeing this but um, eight is not in here and the one is in this grid and it's also in that row so it's killing that one too all right so we killed a little bit of different things right there um, one thing I could say is since this is consecutive I was gonna say like can there be a one here but the one sees here sees here sees here so there can be a one here potentially but what's the highest this, this can go four five five six seven eight so there can't be a nine in there just FYI um, I don't want to mark that because there's too many um, there's too many options to do so I'm just gonna leave it like that but that's good to know um, for example uh, so here I want to say so th this can never be a four because eight minus five is three so it's gonna be like that now one of the rule things said one of the rule things said that in a green line digits cannot repeat so since I know the um, the one and the three belong there uh, this is a two meaning a two is gonna go somewhere right here um, and then the one and the three again sees this three uh, this two sees this two so this is a four so actually this is actually coming along pretty pretty nicely actually this three sees that so this is the one this is the three and Wowzer actually kind of went really well um, this one I'm, I'm moving on to this uh, this purple line right here this one is seeing all these digits this one is seeing all these digits and this one sees these this digit so we know that because this is a consecutive somewhere it's not gonna have a one so the lowest number is gonna be a three so it's gonna be a th um, I'm sorry a two so it's two three four five six seven because again there's a uh, five six digits right here but the two is already showing so there's other those are the other ones that it can be all right let's clean that up a little bit I uh, just want to list that out just so that we can at least visualize it um, can we see I think it was four right orange line is a difference of four so obviously uh, this the lowest that this can be is a, is a five, so it can't be a three or a four. And you know what's going to be interesting here? So what I was saying right here, because of the five digits, right? I know it has to go high, low, high, low. But this right here... Let's just say that you know this is low this right here is showing that let's just say that this is high which the like the most that it could be is a seven because again it's on this this line so if it's a seven what do you put here in order to make this true or this is also low you can't like it can go seven and then f seven minus four is um, uh, 
Oh wait, it can't work. Is that right? Oh, no, no, no. I was gonna say, it can work. This would be a three. That's what I was trying to say, okay. This would be a three, um, and then the two and one is not there. So this would be a three. But that's not a difference of four right here for the two. So this actually has to be a five, um, which makes this not five, which makes this not 67. Anyways, kind of jumping ahead, but now we know, I'll just put this as green or whatever. Now we know that this is gonna be a high number because it has to be high because this one's low. Um, and the difference between a five and a four makes this a nine. And again, this one's going to be high because since it's a 2, um, it makes this one a uh, 6, 7, 8, or 9. Actually, it can't be a 9 right there, and then it can't be 8 right there. So 67 sees this grid, so the rest of the numbers that this can be is, and I'll, and I'll clean it up in a second, but it's going to be a 1, a 5, and a 8, I want to say, which 8 is seen here. So 8... So we know that this is going to be the one five pair right there. Okay. Now, if this was a six or a seven, can this be a five? Nope. So this has to be a one. Which I'll make that low. This has to be low. Uh, this one has to be a three or four. Um, how do we make that possible here? This would have to be a seven, and this would have to be a three. That's the only way that we're able to make it four apart. So, so now that we know that, seven, six, three. And then this is definitely gonna be high. This can be a five, so I don't wanna do that just yet. But either way, we know um, this would be either an eight or a nine. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I was like, why? Why not a nine? Okay, nine is seeing that. So this is an eight. All right. And then uh, lowest that this can be is a, it's a four or a two. Meaning this can't be a five. So now we got that one answered. So this is low. This is high. And the highest that this can be is a six, but the six is seeing that there. So seven. 8 seeing that, so or a 9. Since we put the 1 right here, we know that this is a 5. And since the 5 and the 5, Sudoku makes this 5. Uh, I'm kind of jumping around. This this puzzle is actually a lot easier than I was, I was thinking that was going to be. I'm kind of like over explaining because I was thinking that I, there was going to be some logic that kind of like stops me, but it's actually flowing pretty well, so which is good, which is good. All right, but anyways, there's a one, and we know that this is consecutive, so this is going to be, and I'm just going to, again, I'm going to clean this in a second, but I just want to write it down. This is either going to be a two, three, four, or five. The fives right here are all seeing this, so this is this grid right here. And so, the, which makes this the six, seven, eight, um, nine, by the way. Now the eight sees that. Let's just get, kind of get rid of that. Anyways, those are the digits that we see here. Again, we said that this could never be a nine, right? Um, Cause let me see, five, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, this can never be a nine. So we know for sure that the nine is gonna be somewhere up here. Uh, which, by the way, it's going to be only right here. And this has to equal 7. We haven't got to that place yet, so let's just let's just sit on that. Uh, this is going to be a 9, 6, or a... Uh, I want to say 2? Yeah, 2. I don't know why I didn't see that 2 that's right here. Um, good, good. Okay, I just want to keep it like that. Does this purple go all the way? No, it doesn't go all the way. Okay. All right. 
So, minimum that this can be. Let me see, it's four digits, right? One, two, three, four. I was gonna say, like, does it, can it have a five? I mean, does it have to have a five in it? But it doesn't have to, because there can be a one in here, so the one can go like right here, for example. I'm not gonna do that one just yet, so I'll just leave it. Um, all right, let's, the eight, yep. So now that, now that we know that, that means this is gonna be definitely the, um, like a high, um, it's gonna be the high, the high amounts right here, which by the way, um, since the eight's seen this, uh, five is gonna see that, and then five's gonna be up here. Oh, we can clean that right there, perfect. We know that the five has to go here, so five is gonna go up here. What's good about that, knowing that the fives are up here, is I was just trying, remember I was just um, brainstorming like, what are these digits? Um, and can it possibly have a five in it? Well now we know, because of that, there cannot be a five in this in this grid. So, so we know what digits these are. And a three C in that, so. So we know these digits right here, which means, um, we can we kind of know what this is going to be, or you know what what it can be, which it can be a six, it can be a five, it can't be a four, and it can't be a three. So this is a five six right here. Since we know that the we know right here this is a one two three four. We know that this can't go below a five. So what's the highest that this can be? Six, seven, eight, which can't have an eight, which means this is our nine. Sorry, just wanna clean that up. Okay. Meaning the only other digits that are possible is this. So this is our pairing right here that we're going to have. I guess not pairing, our tri triple airing. <laughs> triple airing? What the hell am I trying to say? <laughs> okay. Um, since we have two digits here, I'm just going to label them right here. So uh, we need a seven. And a two? No, wait. Oh, two is right there. What am I missing then? Nine? Okay. 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 I thought that was going to show us something, but it really didn't. It's fine. Everything's fine. Every everything's fine, guys. Oh, my God. It's not. Okay. Uh, let's pick a number. Eight. Um, so, eight could be right there. Could be right there. Oh, actually, the eights. Oh, let me just label that really quick. It's probably a good thing to know. Actually, it's a really good thing to know. Um, we know for sure that this is. Yeah, that's definitely what this is going to be. Um, and I could have mentioned that here um, when I put the nines in here. Since this has to be a nine, I, what I was going to say was since the eights have to go here and the eights have to go here, that means up here the eights have to go in here. So we know for, for sure that the eight is gonna be in here somewhere. But the other thing that I was gonna say was, uh, this can't, can't be a six. Since we know that there's a nine and it's only a three digit consecutive string, it's nine, eight, seven, so no six. So that's not a six, meaning this is our six. So that's our six, seven. Um, and because we said that the eight and nine are, are seeing this, this is a, seven I meant to say. I'm sorry, I was thinking of a key keyboard. Um, so this is a seven. So now we have the eight nine pair up there, uh, which means we have seven down here. And uh, does that six do? Yep, six does clean that up. So 
five is going to go somewhere right here. Actually, it pretty much did pretty good with five. Okay. All right. What do I want to do next? Four. Reason why I want to cho cho chose four is uh. I was gonna say this 2-4 and this 2-4 would make this 4 down here, but that's not true. There could be a 4 up here, and same thing here. There could be a 4 here, so e either way, way to say that one of these is a 4, but I guess that's kind of common, like common knowledge because it can only be two digits. What digits are those? It's um, a 4 and a 6. What do I want to go to next then? Um, oh, you know what? This seven um, cage, since we put the five in here, uh, it has to be five plus two is seven. So there's our there's our thing, which makes this a two. Get rid of those. Makes this our four. One, three. Actually, let me just, instead of like erasing um, pencil marks, I'm just going to actually uh, go through this a little bit and put some numbers in. This four sees that. We know that there's going to be a four here, uh, meaning there's going to be a four here, and I'll just put these in here. Um, It's gonna be a one here. Yeah, okay. All right, should we do continue the twos? So this has to be a 7-9 pair, because of that, meaning the 9 is going to go right here. Seven, meaning 7 is going to go here. And actually, 7 sees this. 7 has to be down here, so this can't be the 7, meaning this is the 7. Okay. 7, uh, which also, by the way, 9s are in these rows, and the 9s are, sorry, 9s eh. are right there, meaning up here has to be the 9s. Uh, we don't know where the 9s are right here, so I'll just label it all right there. Um, Could be a seven. All right, what about the sixes? Maybe I should focus on the sixes. Six is gonna be somewhere right there. We know that the sixes are gonna be right there. This can also be a six. Uh, six could go there. Um, six, seven, eight, nine. Didn't help, okay. What about the ones? What about this digit right here? Oh, it's because I haven't looked at three, really. Um, I guess because of that, let's let's kind of mark them really quick. So the three, oh yeah. I guess like three was definitely the, the number that I was not really focusing on. Um, since that three is there, uh, we're going to have three here. And again, 
it can kind of go everywhere. Okay. So one, six, nine. Four is not it. Maybe I should circle back to eight. Let me see. There's eight right here, eight. We don't know where the eights are here. And we said earlier that this is, these are gonna be eights down here. Pencil the twos. What about this digit? <clears throat> One, we know that two, three, four, five, six, seven, it can be an eight. Nine sees that. It's a naked single. Holy cow. I don't know how I didn't see that. Okay, so since that's a naked single, we know that the two and nine pair, oh, did not mean to do that. Hopefully I didn't mess anything up. Okay, I meant to label the, these two. These two is a two nine pair, um, meaning this is a one eight pair. Get rid of those pencils just so you could see that a little bit more clear. Um, and you know the seven's gonna be right there. Um, four has to go there. Six nine, okay. Uh, can we do anything else with three? Mm, doesn't look like it. Okay. All right. Since the seven seeing this, we know that this has to be a seven somewhere right there, uh, which means the seven has to go down here, which we already know is on here. Guess I could have did that a lot earlier. My bad. Uh, sixes are gonna be right here. Uh, it doesn't really resolve though, so I'm just gonna leave it there. I'm gonna leave it be. Um, sixes are gonna go up here somewhere. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. That kind of checks out. Okay. Um, what can I revisit? Ones aren't really labeled. I'm just gonna label them even though it's gonna be a little bit messy. My bad. Um, so the ones, because again, that sees that. Uh, so the ones are gonna go here. Speaking of which, Maybe, maybe I can clean this up a, a little bit. I think up here, this can't be a five or six. Like this has to, like these four have to be a, a three, four, five, or six. This five, six is seeing that, so this is a three, four. This is a five, six because uh, the three, four right here. And this is a five, six um, because the three, four is looking at that. Meaning this can't be a six, meaning this has to be a three, four. And I only say that because um, it cleans up one of the sixes. It didn't quite clean up this one, but um, which is unfortunate, but at least it cleaned it a little bit. All right, uh, two, nope, two is not gonna work. Seven. No. What about eight again? Because I really didn't label, finish labeling the eights earlier. Eight, eight, eight. Yeah, it's not, it's not moving. Is there any rules that I haven't done? Let me see. I'm sorry, I, I totally forgot that there's rules. We know these are consecutive. We know that these have to bounce. So 
Three plus five, of course this can't be six. That's what we're doing. We we didn't do the simple mechanics that are laid in front of us. I could have did this a long time ago. My bad, guys. Um, this is probably going to be the same thing. It has to be more than four, um, so it can't be seven. So this is going to be our nine. Oh my god, why did I do that? Um, I kind of uh, slowed process down there a little bit. I'm trying to, I'm trying to clean it. <laughs> What the hell? Alright. Um, Alright, that sees that, that sees that, and um, the the nine that's that we put right there is gonna resolve that, which resolves that. Um, six now has to go here. Right yep. Which sees that, which sees that. Oh! That's three in the corner. That's three in the spot. Lights. Losing my religion. Okay. Um, this is a naked single now, so it's a five. And then so this is a one eight pair, but the eight doesn't see that because of the one on the very left. So this is the one, this is the eight. Um, so I believe we're done with the eights. Yeah, we are done with the eights. Um, so this is a five six, but the six is seeing this. So this is the five, this is the six, that's the five. Um, God, if I would have just um, stuck to the other rules, I just started doing Sudoku and like totally forgot about the other um, rule set for a moment. Um, I don't know why I thought I was done with that rule set. Like I started. It's because I started jumping around. Um, yeah, no, I was, I, I did the majority of all of them. I think I just missed those ones. And then I started doing the consecutive numbers and I just got lost in the purple um, and totally forgot to revisit that there was actually uh, those two colors that I needed to do still. What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? Uh, that was a fun puzzle. It's actually, uh, that was a little easier than I usually do, but um, you know, good. I, I, why do I do all those like hard ones all the time? What the heck? It's yeah. Why do I do all those hard ones all the time? Why did I say it that way? Anyways, hopefully you guys did well. If you guys did the puzzle, uh, let me know if you guys did. Um, but uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Um, and uh, yeah, no, it's uh, you know, it's great. I'll see you again every other Wednesday so I will see you not next Wednesday but the next Wednesday later dun, dun.